Welcome to the party demonstration of RFID based item tracking system using IoT technology uh, machine learning using uh, Raspberry Pi. Here we are using the uh, like uh, Arduino for multiplex purpose. Why? Because we are using the two RFID readers which will provide the serial data and uh, our Raspberry Pi consists of only one serial port. So for that purpose we are making use of Arduino Uno to read this data and uh, by multiplexing these two it will send one string to the Raspberry Pi. So the whole purpose for our purpose of project is uh, whenever the food products which consist of RFID tags are entering into the warehouse. So this is a warehouse storing the uh, like uh, non-food and food items and that will be continuously monitored through the IoT web application and uh, at which time the product added and uh, how many number of uh, food products, how many number of non-food products and total products present inside the warehouse, how many were left. So this continuously monitored through the IoT using Raspberry Pi and the data continuously displayed on the LCD screen whenever the food product arrived and when it is leaving and uh, these two are interfaced to the UNO board and LCD also interfaces to the UNO board and the UNO board will send the data to the Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi will upload the data to the cloud platform like uh, we can access that through the browser and uh, here the data will be stored inside this memory card so whenever we switch off the power supply and on it again then uh, the data will be erased as for the demonstration purpose we are using the auto research so coming to the interfacing connections we have interface the uh, RFID reader 1 at the entrance and 2 at the exit at the pin number 0 and pin number 9 and uh, pin number 1 to the Raspberry Pi and the plus minus power supply directly from the Raspberry Pi only and pin number 2 to pin number 7 for the LCD screen. So here, uh, here uh, we are using Raspberry Pi and uh, inside this memory card we are using the 32 GB Ultra uh, Micro SD card. Before inserting that into the Raspberry Pi initially we need to load the Raspbian OS and the version is the Buster version and after loading the OS we will insert that to the Raspberry Pi and connect the HDMI screen over here and connect the mouse and keyboard from this OTG cable and once we switch, off the power, switch on the power supply to the Raspberry Pi there we can see the operating system so OS loaded uh, from this memory card and that will be displayed on the desktop on this uh, HDMI screen and from there we are going to write the code which is reading the data from the Arduino and store that into the notepad and same uh, display the data on the browser. These uh, instructions will be written in the Python language and that is will be in auto run mode directly we can access that when we provide the power supply to the Raspberry Pi. So before on the gauge the very first step is we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. For that go to hotspot settings and uh, change the hotspot name to project 5629 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and the AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz after configuration just on the hotspots and the next install a network analyzer application this application available in the play store install that from play store so after these setups and uh, these are data previously we have uh, uploaded to the notepad while we are testing now on the power supply to this Raspberry Pi to this adapter and now which one uh, device should be connected in your mobile phone so you can see that in your hotspot settings zero device connected initially so means uh, initially the Raspberry Pi will uh, boot in the memory card and once successfully booting then there you can see one device connected so it will take around of one minute maximum and after one device connected you can go to network analyzer application options LAN scan do the scan so there are the two IP address one is your mobile phone and another is the Raspberry Pi foundation copy that IP address now go to Google Chrome and paste the IP address and after that we need to write colon 5000 so the IP address and end of that IP address colon 5000 now enter that so we need to wait till the message of our project name displayed on this browser screen. That is the indication of the Raspberry Pi's execution, executing the our project Python code. So after booting, then it will uh, execute the code. It will take maximum one minute on successfully booting. Right. Right. So we got the project name along with initially date and uh, time stamp will be present on that. So now let us 
demonstrate that with the tax now let us initially non food nf is nothing but non food item so showing that the buzzer will be indicate the successfully card read from this reader and again so total quantity two so non food and food items one for every login of this product it will capture the time and store that in our notepad and we can access that just you can refresh you can get this details date and time how many products and which time that was added and total products presents nothing but uh, including the to like uh, food and non food items and once we remove from that so if the product shows second time so if it shows here again so it won't access that it won't enter anything just it will show the number so you are I mean, re entering the uh, same product again because which is already inside the warehouse if you show it again so it won't do any other operations as it was already inside the storeroom So after the once a product was exited, and if you show it again, same it will show the number, but it won't show the uh, the so-called execution. So till now we have got. It. So now the total products is zero as the total warehouse was emptied now. Right. So if we trying to enter the new product from the exit end. then also same thing means it won't provide the any uh, like uh, in or out operation to that because properly we need to enter from the enter section only then only it will enter and we can access that can see the total number of products too so like this we can track the like uh, items inside the warehouse along with the login details and we can store along with the date and time